Facebook for Business. Facebook Business Suite or Manager is a Facebook tool that helps organize and manage your business. You can create and manage ad accounts, Facebook pages, Instagram accounts, payment methods, keep analytics and reporting separate for proper tracking, request access to other pages or ad accounts, and you can assign other people or workers to work on them, all in one place. Whether if you're a business with multiple brands, websites, or if you're an ad agency with multiple clients, I suggest everyone that wants to create Facebook ads use a Facebook business account. This is via business.facebook.com, and this is why this is the first step in the course. Create your Facebook business account and follow along to properly set up and scale your business. Facebook business makes managing everything connected to your business on Facebook so much easier. So depending on when you join Facebook, you will either have access to Facebook Business Manager or the Facebook Business Suite. Both do the same thing. Buttons and links are just in different places. So create your Facebook Business account by navigating to business.facebook.com. Then sign in with your personal Facebook profile. This is for login purposes only. And all Facebook business work is separate from your personal Facebook profile. So a common question I get, what's the difference between a Facebook profile and a Facebook page? Your Facebook profile is your personal Facebook profile. This is Facebook.com. This is for sharing your content with your friends and family. But you need a personal Facebook profile in order to create a Facebook page and this Facebook business account. So your Facebook page is a specific web page within Facebook such as facebook.com slash course envy. This is where we build our fan following, our likes, our followers, and share our relevant content. You need a Facebook page in order to create Facebook ads. So note, Facebook pages are separate from your personal Facebook profile. Your friends will not be able to see the Facebook pages you create or are an admin of. So frequently asked question number one, Facebook profile username, what is the difference between a Facebook profile username and a Facebook page username? Changing your Facebook profile username will change the URL of your own personal Facebook profile. This username can be set on your Facebook settings, facebook.com slash settings. As for the Facebook page username, your Facebook page username is also for setting your URL. I like to use the brand or business name for the Facebook page username. Your username for your Facebook page can be edited by navigating to your Facebook page. In the left sidebar, select Edit Page Info. Then just edit your username. So now it's time to set up your Facebook business. So let's navigate to our business settings page. We've created our business account. We've logged in via our Facebook account. Now navigate to business.facebook.com slash settings. The three basic things you need to create ads on Facebook are a Facebook page, an ad account, and people. So the first way to navigate to business settings is via your business manager. So in your business manager, click the menu in the top left corner. In that drop down, select business settings. Now to navigate to business settings via your business suite, click the more tools menu option in the left sidebar of your business suite page. In that expanded menu, select Business Settings. Truly everything you will ever need for your Facebook page, ad account, payment methods, custom audiences, Facebook pixel, events manager, ads manager, ads reporting, people, partners, and so much more can be found via Facebook Business Settings and the Manage Business menu. So back to setting up our Facebook business. We've navigated to the Business Settings page now it's time to add or create your business assets. Again, the Facebook page, the ad account, and the people. So first on this business settings page, select pages in the left sidebar, then click the add button. So once we click that add button, you can see our three options, add a page, request access to a page, or create a new page. As your business grows, you can add more Facebook pages via this business settings pages option. So a pro tip here, 
one Facebook page per ad account. Keep your data separate for ease of tracking in the future. So if you haven't created a Facebook page yet for your business, we cover how to in another lecture in depth. So you can create a Facebook page via this create a new page button or via your Facebook personal profile at this link below. So click the add a page option if you are an admin of a page. For example, you created the page already via your Facebook profile and you are the owner. Or if somebody else created a Facebook page and they added you as an admin, you can add this page as well, as long as you're the admin. So make sure to download the PDF to review these step-by-step -step for adding a page. So one more note, if you have an Instagram account for this specific Facebook page brand, you'll want to link it with this Facebook page so you can place ads not only on Facebook, but Instagram as well. So again, navigate to your Facebook page, click settings in the left sidebar, select Instagram on that settings page, then log into this brand's Instagram account. So this brand's assets are now linked. The third option is to request access to a page. Click request access to a page if you're not the admin of a page and need to work on and or connect it with an ad account. For example, your ad agency's client's Facebook page. Next is ad account. Facebook ad accounts enable you to create Facebook ad campaigns and group all your specific ad activity, including different ad campaigns, ad sets, ads, and billing information. So click ad accounts in that left sidebar on this business settings page. Since this is a new Facebook business account and we need a new Facebook pixel for tracking users on our website, we will create a new ad account. So here's another pro tip, the pixel rule. One Facebook pixel per ad account, one Facebook pixel per Facebook page or website one Facebook page slash website per ad account. You can create multiple ad accounts with your Facebook business account, just like I'm showing you on this business settings page. So treat each new ad account as a new pixel to pair with a new website. Not only will this make tracking your separate ad results easier, but this is also a requirement per Facebook terms of service. They want you to keep everything separate you need a separate Facebook pixel for each website. If you use the same Facebook pixel on multiple websites, you'll get mixed reporting, incorrect custom audience. The list of errors goes on. So the benefits of splitting this all up is you can create separate ad accounts for each client. You can create separate ad accounts for each Facebook page. You can run different ad campaigns for varying businesses at the same time. You can pay for ads with different payment methods, maybe a business credit card for this one, a personal credit card for this one. And most importantly, you can view insights, analytics, and reporting for individual ad campaigns for each separate business entity. So like I said, click the create a new ad account option. When you have a new website, you'll need to select this create a new ad account and then install the Facebook pixel paired with this new ad account on your new website. This course is based on building on top of a new ad account. So I suggest you create a new one so everything is set up correctly. If you've already created an ad account, for example, via your personal Facebook profile, you can add it via this add an ad account option. But from our experience with many clients, it is best to start fresh with a new ad account so we can install the pixel correctly build out the correct custom audiences, and everything else we will teach you in this course. Click the request access to an ad account if you need to work on someone else's ad account. For example, your business partner's ad account, or maybe even your ad agency's client's ad account. Again, download the PDF for a step-by-step -step guide for once you click that create a new ad account button. And now finally, our people. Again, via business settings, people in the left sidebar, you can invite other people to work on your Facebook assets you've created. This is perfect for adding ad agencies or employees to your Facebook business. So again, business settings, people in the left sidebar, click the add button, then you can just enter their email, 
and assign them either employee access or admin access. Typically, I keep this as employee unless it is a co-founder or co-owner, someone I trust. So once I add this user to my business settings people page, you can click that user, then click the add assets button. And in this pop-up, you can assign them Facebook assets to manage, such as Facebook pages, ad accounts, catalogs. You can even manage what you want to assign to them. View page performance only, create ads only, or full admin access. Once you toggle those on, click save changes. Now finally, we need to assign our Facebook page as the primary page for this business settings. So navigate to your business info page in the left sidebar of your business settings page. And as you can see, Course Envy is our primary page and that is done via this edit button. So how do we do this? Go to your business info page at this link, click the edit button next to your business name. The primary page field will become a search box. Type in your Facebook page name that we added earlier. Click the save button. Then your Facebook business account will automatically take on the branding of your Facebook page. Now with this new ad account came that Facebook pixel. So you'll have to install that Facebook pixel on your website. This is a crucial step so you can have Facebook track the people who visit your website. Then you can create custom audiences of these visitors, which you can then retarget in the future with Facebook ads, i.e. a warm audience. So installing your Facebook pixel requires access to your website's code. Therefore, you should contact your website's developer to provide them with this info. So follow our Facebook Pixel lectures in this course for step-by-step -step instructions on creating and installing your Facebook Pixel or use the link below. Finally, now that we have a Facebook business account set up, we can navigate to our Facebook Ads Manager page at this link. We can select our ad account in the top left drop-down menu. Then we can click that green Create button to create a Facebook ad.